choice. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. I fail anyway. I always fail. We don't have time for this. Why? Why don't we have time? I'm gonna say that anyway, I guess. Because I don't want to say either of these. You must learn patience and discipline. <laughs> what does that the sound familiar? A place of corruption. The dark side is strong there. We cannot risk sending you there unprepared. You must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Right, so several weeks later, I can levitate stuff and do really cool things. I should be going now. What must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Why is it always three? What kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Oh no. I got dark side points? Why? I don't understand. Anyway, items received, items lost. Do I have to memorize something? Right, save the game. Seems a good time to save it. I thought I re received a... So I gotta learn the code. I thought it might have been like a document or something he gave me, but I can't see it. Because they're my new items. It would be... Twisted Rancor Trio. What the hell is that? Right. Equipable, utility, usable, all. Anyway, you. Just a second. This is going to be better. Yeah, it's much better. Alright, have that. Blaster and Karth Blaster. Um, 
There you can have Davik's visor. Yeah. Okay. Close. Um, whoa, yeah, that looks badass. If only it wasn't purple. Yes. Alright. Do I I saved? I'll save again. Just ask him what this is all about then. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I guess so. Well, maybe not right now. Well, maybe. Well, uh, is the people I should go and talk to or what? He didn't say that. Well, it said I should turn to Bastila whenever I want to, you know, continue my training and stuff, but. Whenever I need help, but. Maybe I should ask some questions first. Few mention those names around here anymore. I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revenant Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revenant's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But you didn't. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. So what happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat the Council feared had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. They disobeyed the Jedi. What happened on the mission? They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. Oh god, the music's back. I wondered why it disappeared. I've been here for several weeks now, so I guess I would at least know the lingo. So, I will heed the lesson, Master Zahar. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Why wouldn't I be ready? I mean, who have I got to talk to? Bastila? You guys are still stood around here doing no. Let's ask her about stuff. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. But, uh, oh, fine. I guess not then. Alright, let's talk to you guys. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. There's a lot of talking. Um... All right, yeah, I want to ask about the code, actually. That's what I want to talk about. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Knowledge of the code will lead you to the rank of Padawan, and knowledge of the order and its history will guide you down the path of the light. Well, that told me what I wanted to know. 